Let's talk about loops, baby. Let's talk about how hard they can be. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm going to pretend like I'm awake. Did I not video that? Oh, my God. God bless America. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to tackle some forward outside loops from Novice Moves. They are one of the hardest moves for skaters to grasp the concept of. And over the years, many years, I have developed a system that I think works really well. And I'm going to share that with you. One of the first things I do when I'm introducing loops is I take it to the wall. So either they have a notebook or I draw it on the glass, but preferably a notebook. And what I do is I actually draw a loop for them so they understand what it should look like. I know that's not a perfect loop, right? But you get it. So if they are drawing a right forward outside loop, they have to use their right hand, but draw it clockwise. So they will actually put their pen on the paper, draw the loop like that. Now, the left, we got to flip because the left is going to be counterclockwise. So when you're on your left foot, you're skating a counterclockwise loop. So I want their eye looking at the loop, drawing it just like as if their blade was drawing it. So they're going to go this way. And it's very odd for them to draw with both hands and do it in different directions, but this really helps with the mind-body connection. So I'm gonna take you to the rink with me today and show you some on ice exercises that I use next. And I teach these very early so that the skaters get really comfortable with the body motion. But I digress. Let's head to the rink. Here is the very first exercise that I teach the athletes. We like to use this as a warm up so they can really get into their knees and feel the twist. And then also holding around in a circle. So pump, pump hold all around the circle, rise in the knee and scissor. All right, so the next thing I do is take that same exercise and shrink it and I put it on the blue line because I want them understanding that the width of the loop should be the blue line and it gives them an axis. Watch out for traffic. So again, we're using the pump, pump, I always say hug the circle or the blue line, pump around the loop, follow the blue line, rise and scissor, pump, pump, around, blue line, rise and scissor. All right, so on the blue line, I make marks on either side across because I want them to hit those marks when they are doing the exercise. So try to touch each one of those and then come out. All right, so the next step is I put it on the blue line in the pattern of novice moves. I see you watching me. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but that's okay. All right, so a couple things that you have to keep in mind is hips. So when they are doing their loop, a lot of times they like to make a bump instead of a dent. I stole that from someone. You also have to make sure that they're in the side pump or side lunge position. I have the hands on either side of the hip and I want them looking like they're looking at a bucket the entire time. What happens is in the middle of the loop, they start to pull away or they start to untwist their shoulders. So in my mind, what creates rotation is an edge and a twist. So you have to make sure that you stay twisted 
when you're doing this loop. So stay twisted, stay twisted, and then reverse or untwist. Right, Rachel? All right, so the last step is for them to do the loop on one foot, but making sure that they keep the same position that we practiced earlier with the hip in, looking in the bucket, hands on either side of the hip, and the free leg is just gonna hover above the ice. So same position, but the free leg slightly above. I do not let the skaters go on to the next exercise until they are proficient in the exercise that we are currently working on. Because skating is like math and everything that you do builds on something that you've already done, it's important that they are fully aware of where their body parts are supposed to be. And then just adding one more step makes it really, really easy. I hope this has been really helpful for you. I know that all of us have different things that we teach that we struggle with. Hopefully this is gonna be beneficial and you can try it out on your athletes and see how you think it works. Please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up or both. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like for me to address. But in the meantime, have an ice day.